<laughs> Hello everybody and uh, welcome back to the Speakeasy. I'm Zach. And I'm Jake. And we are the Dirt Road Men. We decided to switch a tire today. He wore the button-up shirt and I dressed like I uh, rolled around in the dirt before I came in here. <laughs> We're doing roll reversals. Oh my god, you know what I need? Come on. I wish I'd uh, swung by Scott's on my way home and got that old Twisted Sister wig. <laughs> <laughs> that would be fucking awesome. We should do that sometime. Okay. <laughs> I like this. I know you do. You took a fucking picture in my hat one day before you left. But I was wearing a fucking greasy, nasty white t-shirt. I know. <laughs> I was wearing the white t-shirt <laughs> that, that your mom was pissed about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, what do um, we have today? We are reviewing another PDR. Um, hopefully not as bad as the one we did last week. It's already not as bad <laughs> as the one we did last week. This is the PDR Obsidian. I This is already a million times better. We didn't even smoke the other one this far. <laughs> nope. And I'm pretty sure we straight up threw those away. We didn't even leave them for Seth. We were just like, yeah, no. And what's crazy about the last ones were... Uh, we smoked them for like 20 minutes and didn't get this far. They were just so tight. Yeah. Had like no draw to them. Which, sometimes it happens with just one, and then we know that it's it's like the error of the roller. But if it's both of us, you guys fucked up somewhere. Anyway. Uh, so, we've already talked about PDR. Boutique Cigar Company. Um, so I'm not going to go too in-depth with that. This is probably going to be another shorter review, except it will actually have a back half. This cigar has um, Cuban seed long filler. Well, it says long leaves, but it's long filler. Uh, grown in Nicaragua. And uh, the Dominican Republic. So that's our fillers. And, uh, or no, sorry, the fillers are the Cuban seed, long, Cuban seed Nicaraguans, the wrapper is Dominican. Not the wrapper, the binder. I'm, I swear to God, I just started drinking. Uh, <laughs> there are three parts of a cigar, the filler, the binder, and the wrapper. We're working our way out. <laughs> the wrapper is a fucking Brazilian Habano Ligero. We've had these before. Um, I'm surprised you got through Brazilian Habana Ligero without fucking up. Based on the first few... It, it's because you haven't had anything to drink today other than that little shot of uh, Evan Williams. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I just got half retarded. It happens sometimes. <laughs> Uh, so, that's kind of all that's, that's different about this one compared to the others. I got, right up front, it was like Mrs. Dash on a juicy steak. This pepper and a little of like an almost meaty, hearty flavor. Now I'm getting a little bit of, uh, like leather. Mm -hmm. There's definitely nothing sweet coming out of this, like any of that dark chocolate you get mm -hmm. sometimes on Maduro's. Keep talking about that meat, man. It's it's a very heavy cigar. The flavor profile that this thing lists says it's it's all the way up. I believe it. On it's... Maduro. And yeah. It's it's a very full bodied cigar. I like it. I I like it a lot already. Um, we're gonna have to come in and, and you know back half it and say what we think, but it would have to drastically change or like go bad halfway through for my opinion to change on this cigar. So same. Anyway, uh you got anything else you want to add? Did you get any different notes? No. No. I know you're not huge on cigar notes, so No, those are hit, hit mine pretty well. Yeah. Alright, well we'll be back in a minute for the back half.
and we're back for the back half. Yeah, well, yeah, we are. He lost his hat in like a split second for you guys. It's crazy. Mm. What happened to my cigar? <laughs> yeah. Um, obviously, we liked this one, but mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> it hasn't gone bad yet. Surprisingly, most cigars get more bitter towards the back end. This has gotten. I mean, the, the pepper has gone away, but I'm getting, like, leather and dark chocolate now. Mm -hmm. It's got a little sweetness to the tail of it, and that almost never happens. You know what's funny? Huh. This one runs about five to six bucks a stick. <laughs> no shit. No shit. Wow. So this is like a budget long filler cigar. What was this one called again? This is the uh, PDR, or... Pina del Rio? Pina del Rio. Obsidian. Obsidian. I'm going to write this one down. It's really good. Let me uh, let me double check. Next page. Pinar del Rio. Not Pina. Pinar. It's a good cigar. Solid one to add to your uh, humidor. This is one I would keep on hand. Factory smokes are cheaper, so I'll probably have more of those around, but... Yeah. An entire shelf of my humidor is dedicated to different sizes of factory smokes based on how long I feel like smoking that day. <laughs> really? Yeah, I have um, Churchill's, Toro's, and Robusto's. This center shelf, that is all factory smokes? Yes. Hell yeah. <laughs> This is all of our shit to review. This is my special cigars and the Grenadiers. That's Seth's right now because I can't get that other humidor to hold humidity anymore. Hmm. It's got, it's had four 84% Bovedas in it for two weeks and it's at 74%. Huh. Apparently, I just need to leave 84% Bovedas in it and let him throw his cigars in there. <laughs> wow. Also, they're already starting to dry out. So it just, like, is not sealing at all. Get a little uh, Vaseline. Uh, we'll take the Vaseline around the uh, lid. And then uh, get some uh, silicone coffee. And put it around the one side. And shut it. Hmm. It won't seal to the lid. It will create a nice rubberized seal. Mm -hmm. You can also, uh, if you drive a uh, Camaro with T-tops... You do that same, same thing. thing. <laughs> Thanks, I Mom. thought that sounded familiar <laughs> as you were explaining it, but I wanted you to say nothing. Um, it's starting to burn me wee fingers. He's all jealous over here. Yeah, I lost my pocket knife. This is why I keep a pipe on hand. I don't have any pipe tobacco at all. If my cigar is small enough, Drop that sucker in here and finish it. Jesus it looks a little goofy, but I don't care. What? Um, my pocket knife, like my whole thing, it fully extended was like the length of your blade. Like both, I had two blades and a handle. Yeah, that was dad's. I oh. got it for him for a birthday present. After I got him another knife that turned out to have roses on the handle. So oh. I had my ex keep that and got him that one. But just thought it was worth a shot. Anyway, um, I would give this cigar a solid eight. Yeah, I was mm. impressed. Yeah. Okay. An eight. I was between a seven and an eight, but I went with the eight because most cigars don't make it into here. Man, the last cigar I smoked, other than the factory throughout, the last one that's really sticking in my mind was the one reviewed uh, last week. I was like, man, this thing's like a ten. <laughs> Yeah. Comparatively, that one last week was the only one that we've ever tossed out that early, except the one that we planned to do it to before we even lit it. Yeah. We lit it, we took a drag, and threw it behind us, and that was it. Literally just to piss the guy off that gave it to us to review. But hey. Um, so yeah. I don't have anything else, but I definitely recommend, of all the PDR cigars we've reviewed so far, I think this is the third, maybe fourth, 
but I think the third. Uh, this is the one I would most highly recommend, and I'm sure it's going to be the one he most highly recommends because the next two are Connecticut's. So I already ate them. <laughs> 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 they ain't getting over a five. <laughs> hey, I've been surprised. I've been surprised before. The one that sticks in my head is surprising me the most at, for a Connecticut because I do like Monte Cristo Connecticut still and the Brickhouse Connecticut I enjoyed, but the one that sticks in my head the most is the Leaf. Yeah, by Oscar. Connecticut. That one was delicious, and even you liked it. Yeah, I was surprised at that. So, anyway, till we see you again, I'm Zach. I'm Jake. We are the Dirt Road Men. Hey everybody, if you like this video, uh, hit a like or dislike, comment, uh, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And if you really like what we're doing, uh, check us out over on Facebook where we post every day.